Friday, Flex Friday, turn this thing down. Flex Friday, um, it's Leg Friday. I mean, every Friday is gonna be different, just depending on my schedule. But today's Leg Friday, so we finna hit the leg game. Hold on, I gotta shift. It's Leg Friday. We finna hit the gym. I actually switched gyms. Um, if y'all didn't notice. I probably didn't know this because you're yeah, just fucking assholes. But I go to Jersey Strong, Jersey Strong now. You know, I said bye to Crunch Fitness just because, just because I'm a gym whore. I can't commit to the gyms. Shit. If a gym comes out, I like it. I'm going. You know, it's just how it is. So, like I said, I go to Jersey Strong now, and uh, one thing I noticed is like. I'm not the fittest motherfucker there, you know? Like, <laughs> at Crunch, it was like, I'm the fittest dude there, and it's like, not that motivating. I go to Jersey Strong, and it's like, everybody there is fucking leaned out, man. Even the females. I'm like, holy shit, I gotta step my game up. So, yeah, that's why I go to Jersey Strong now. Because I'm a gym whore, and I like going to gyms where there's more fit people. It motivates you, so that's why. So I'll catch y'all there. We here, Jersey Strong, nice and brisk on a Friday, October. Let's get it, people. Oh, yeah, it's time to get you moving. Start off with the front squats, double kettlebell action, working the lower body. Got to get it strong. Look at my man's gut. All out. Good for you. Anyway, hitting that kettlebell front squat switch it over to the goblet squats did three sets of 10 for those two and the reason why i like those because it puts less stress on my spine okay less stress on the spine so one also if you're doing barbell squats and your heels come up you should probably stop doing barbell squats okay stop doing it stop it please just stop i'm gonna come over there and tell you to stop but anyway, hit these exercises first if you do have problems with squatting, your mechanics aren't that great. Front squats, goblet squats, those are really good just to help with just your overall form, especially just keeping your torso upright. So hitting different angles with the goblet squats. Make sure you're getting nice and low. When barbell squats, I cannot go below 90 degrees. It's just, you know, maybe a little bit under that. But I feel comfortable going below 90 degrees with goblet squats and front squats. All right, what am I saying here? This is, this is some new age shit, people. We don't live in the 1970s, all right? This ain't the 19th century. So put your weight on top of another weight to stack more weight. See? See, that's triple dipping. Weight on top of weight on top of weight. Let's go. Now we're hitting a stiff leg deadlift. Damn, I got a wedgie. But you know what? My ankles are bomb as fuck. So, four sets, six to eight reps. Biggest emphasis on the way down, you're feeling a stretch in the hamstrings. All right, now I gotta put on some bomb ass music. What am I listening to? I don't know, but guess what? It was some bomb ass shit. Now I get a sippy sip. See how I just fucking phased over there? That's how fast I am. All right, hit another set. Biggest thing, like I said, make sure you're getting, sure you're getting low. Keep the back nice and neutral. You don't want no hunchback of Notre Dame. And you don't want no arched back like a, I don't even know. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that. Another angle of the stiff leg deadlifts. And again, I just kept going up in weight. You know, I just, I like to do the, the pyramid lift. Next, we got calf raise machine. All right, with the calf raise machine. You gotta do it because if you don't have proportionate legs, I'm gonna make fun of you, all right? Hit the calves. You gotta have the right symmetry with those calves, all right? I did three sets of 20. And then I believe I added 10 pounds each time for each set. So those last, you know, 17, 18, 19, 20 reps, 
or a motherfucking killer. Look at my face. I'm like, God damn. This shit is hard. Of course it's hard. If you ain't challenging yourself, why the fuck are you in the gym? All right, let's hit up, hit up them leg press. I love leg press. The one thing I don't love is how I'm locking my legs out. I'm about to snap some shit. So the only thing I would just change is not locking the legs out. I like bringing my feet together to work the outside of the quads a little more. And then just have my toes turn out a little bit. And again, I just threw on a 45 after each set. Doing four sets of about six to eight reps, I believe. Something like that. Look at the fucking definition on the shins. Next, we hit in the lying hamstring curls, okay? My hamstrings are not as strong as I would like them to be. So I gotta hit double hamstrings. Double hamstrings, all right? Did these three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Okay, kinda just going a little slower on the way down, letting the hamstrings get a little stress, a little tension, and then a little butt tap with the roller. See, there you go. Everybody want the camera time. I see you, girl. Look at the striations. God damn. Nice and easy. Nice and slow. There we go. All right, next we hit up the... Yeah, pull up pull up the pants, dog. Pull the pants up, play it. We hit up them leg extensions. Got to get them quads going. All right, and I'm not talking about a four-wheeler. I'm talking about my legs, them quads. All right. Three sets, 10 reps. Strong on the way up, a little slower on the way down. On that eccentric phase, get a little more tension. Look at the fucking definitions on the legs. God damn. All right, three sets of 10, and I actually jumped in between. So I did hamstring curls, knee extent, uh, leg extensions. Hamstring curl, leg extension. Go do it, people. And that right there was the workout, people. Shout out Jersey Strong for getting me strong as fuck. Now it's time to go to work. Actual work work. All right, guys. Get you moving. Get your asses out there. Go fucking push some weight. Go do some shit. Just don't be fucking lazy.